Should tell you what's weird. I feel semi-anxiety about going back to the gym. It's been like three weeks, so I just feel kind of strange about going back. Like, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make it happen. I can't lie, I still feel a little bit of anxiety, but I'm so happy I'm back in here. The gym slightly changed up a bit as well. I'm ready to train, I'm gonna do a bit of everything. I'm trying to enjoy my session. What's up people, back in the gym right now, and this video is all about, as you can see by the title, how to get back into going to the gym after you fall off, after you have a layoff, basically after you just stop going for any particular reason. In my case, it was because of an injury and because I got sick. Uh, some people may just lose motivation, but I think the tips I do in this video will really help you uh, for either scenario, really. I think the first step you need to really get into your head is getting yourself into the gym, like getting your actual physical body into the gym. Multiple ways you can do that, uh, different ways to find motivation, Maybe it's uh, catching up on watching your favorite YouTube that does fitness if you're into that. If it's not that, maybe getting a friend to come with you if you can. And barring that, set a, set a goal in your mind. But you know, the first thing I'm gonna do is at least go into the gym, see if I still enjoy it. Another one that can slightly work, which I'm not really a massive fan of, but it does kind of help, is if you buy yourself like a nice new bit of gym gear, it doesn't have to be expensive, but like buying a new set of gym wear, it kind of gets you that feeling like, yo, I'm gonna roll in the gym, work out in this stuff, see how I look. It's kind of like a, like when you buy a new outfit for going out, you want to go out and actually wear it. And I think that can also be another step that can push you into the gym. And once you're actually into the gym now, I think this is the one thing that you definitely need to pay attention to is be smart. Like if you've been off the gym for a while, I'm not talking about a couple of days, I'm talking about like say at least a few few weeks at least, I would say you have to be smart because a lot of people go into the gym thinking they can lift the exact same amount that they left or they go in just assuming that nothing's changed and they can go in there and just smash the weights like they usually can. The chances are that's not going to be the case. It wasn't in my case. When I went in there, I felt weak as hell. But I went in there knowing that, to be honest, my strength was not going to be absolutely on point. So when I went in there, I went in there with a pyramid training and mindset. So I wasn't sure what weights I was going to be able to lift because it's been a while. I've been ill. I haven't been eating in as much as I have been previously so I know my calories are down and I've been out of the gym so these two facts are greatly gonna like you know change you, what you're lifting what strength gains you've got so I had to kind of know that going in by doing the pyramid training more or less just like choose like a light weight and you slowly build on the weight you slowly add on the weight for example you start on 20 kg either side and you slowly start adding the weight see what reps you can do you know what I mean that's basically what I did like I started with like the bench at 60 I think I did like around 12 reps so I thought I could be adding 10 and add on a 20 and I realized that shit like 80 kg feels heavy on my chest which is crazy to me so it just shows that you know what I mean you can't just jump back into your normal workout so you need to like give yourself time just know that it's gonna you're gonna eventually get the strength gains back and that one leads me on to acceptance like one thing going into the gym and knowing that your strength gains are not going to be absolutely there but another thing is you gotta accept that and don't feel disheartened by it it's like once you get in there realize oh shit i can't lift the weights that i was previously lifting don't get downhearted and feel kind of depressed to the point where you don't want to go back to the gym you just feel like oh i've lost my gains i don't want to go back to the gym i feel like this is when you really gotta just like be a man or a woman and just say you know what Fuck it. I've accepted that. I've lost times with strength gains. The, get, the goal is now is to get them back and increase on them. So when you go into the gym every single time, you, if you did the pyramid type of training, you kind of know what sort of weights you can lift um, on certain exercises. You more or less stick with that for a bit. Then every every few days, try to add on a little bit more weight or every week, add on like about you know, an extra five, 10 kg and see how it goes. And then slowly you'll begin to progress and get back to where you was. I'm not gonna say it's gonna happen in seven days. It probably won't. Don't want people to go to the, get back into going to the gym after a while, realize they can't lift what they previously lived and just feel really depressed and just to the point where they don't want to go back. So acceptance is another key. To be honest, all the fact, all the tips I'm going to give you today are key factors I feel like are helping me getting myself back into the gym. When it comes to the bodybuilding split throughout the getting back into the gym, me personally, I don't go back. Like I normally do, like either four day split or, or legs push pull legs. Uh, when I haven't been in the gym for a while, I personally, you guys should know this if you watch the channel for a while. I know I'm a big fan of just doing like a full body workout for like the first two or three sessions purely just because I know the doms are going to be crazy and I'd rather just like get all the doms out in a few days rather than me just do like say arms for the first time in three weeks have my arms to be at commission which means I probably won't be able to do chest day the next day or shoulders because my arms are going to be so fatigued so I'd rather like kind of do 
all the kind of full body in one in like in a few sessions so I may like to do an emphasis on upper body the first day second day will still be full body but emphasis on the lower half and the third day maybe the full kind of upper body again and I usually do like a, a day space in between depending how sore my body is for example if I wake up tomorrow and my body's not that sore I'll carry on doing the next um, kind of full um, body session where the emphasis will be my lower half so I feel like that's another one to take consideration what split you're gonna do because you're gonna feel sore like I guarantee for a week I'm going to be sore as hell you get me and that's what it is some people may not deal with doms like that but I know I do and anyone else that does that there that's a way of like hopefully getting around it or getting it out of the way and this one goes without saying but make sure that you've got like a decent sort of diet like um, going, getting yourself back into the gym is pretty kind of crucial if you want to still see the results and stuff you're going to have to get your diet back on track if it hasn't been on track me personally I'd say that before I kind of got injured to stop going to the gym my, my meals are probably 8% decent I think near the last the last like week and a half I feel my meals have kind of dropped down to like 50% mark like I've just been feeling way too tired and lack of energy to cook but right now I'm back into cooking I'm literally about to go cook some food right now and have a protein shake and a apple which you can see on the table and to be honest that is all the I think that's all the key areas there's other topics I could probably talk on but I feel like those are the key elements of getting yourself back into the gym and the main thing is really is to hopefully you enjoy it get back into it like me today uh, even though I did have a slight bit of anxiety once I kind of got into the gym it kind of like beats it a bit I started working out again I felt pretty good my lower back still feels semi kind of hurt but I feel like I've given it three weeks to heal I feel like um, now I think is a point of I need to probably stretch it out and stuff you know I, mean, I probably should go I probably will be going to a chiropractor or a doctor soon just in case just to double double check it but I feel like uh, it's time for me to get back in the gym because I've missed it I know that it was a good stress relief for me so I want to make sure I'm back into it I feel lately I have been a lot more stressed and I had lots more things on my mind and I think maybe because I haven't been going to the gym I haven't had time to like kind of like de-stress and just kind of zone out so anyway if this video somewhat helped you and motivated you to get back in the gym please give a thumbs up or if you found the video informative please give a thumbs up and share the video out to people okay, I greatly appreciate it Alright, I enjoyed that session. I'm happy I went to the gym. And hopefully I've already gave you the talk about all the uh, how to get back into the gym. So if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and I'll be back with you more fitness stuff. Uh, feel free to leave me any ideas below if you want me to talk on any topics. Anyway, the camera's going out of focus. So peace out, stay getting gains, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace out.